Hi everyone, I journal a cover today and I finished another one and it's time to do the cover and I was organizing my my stashes and of course I found another stash and all kinds of leftovers and from what I can see I probably thought about doing more tags and uh, bookmarks but I already got a lot of them so I thought maybe I will use all these leftovers to do uh, something here on the cover I'm I'll probably not use everything like this just doesn't go with the rest of it so I'm moving it aside also this one but basically I think that I can use most of it and what I thought of doing is creating some tiles from all this and I'll probably uh, trim uh, the pieces something like that quite random uh, tiles and I'm thinking either I will put either stencil stamp or uh, do some charms on each tile or we'll see as we uh, go along now um, this uh, journal had a spiral I just replaced it with this jute because the spiral just couldn't uh, handle all this uh, bulk that I have here and well let's start now all these pieces because they are were supposed to be bookmarks and tags they are quite thick so I that's why I'm I'm reluctant to use them inside one of uh, my pages I it's bet I'm it's better to use them like this now I've got this quite large piece and I think I need to trim it I will try doing it with the paper trimmer just so it would be <laughs> a straight line but if not I will just use a uh, scissors let's see yeah but okay good enough now I'm going to start gluing pieces I hope it won't be too much boring and I'm just starting and I'm using silicone glue it's a it's a fast a drying glue and it's strong so I really like using it and because this uh, these are quite thick as I said like a like packaging a cardboard so it needs a strong glue and I'm debating if I want to leave some space between the tiles or uh, put them uh, next to each other. I think I will put them next to each other and afterwards maybe I'll do some lines in between. So this uh, the silicone glue is... Uh, the only international brand I know is Yuhu and I'm talking about the glue they have in tubes not the glue stick and I also someone told me also that uh, the clear glue of uh, what is it called <laughs> I forgot now just <laughs> glue out of my mind uh, I think it's Eileen Techie glue the clear one is also a silicone glue and maybe maybe Fab Fabri-Tac also so now it can probably work also with a uh, white glue but it will take forever to dry and I don't feel that it's strong enough as the silicone glue another thing I think that probably with this kind of cardboard uh, you can use a hot glue if you like it but you have to be careful 
because it, uh, in, you need this, to, you need it to be flat and a lot of time the hot glue will is too raised and then your pieces won't be flat that's the only thing why I'm not using hot glue to do this so I'm trying to alternate between the pieces I want it random and I want color and fun it's not something that I want to be precise <laughs> Okay, let's see this one here and whatever will stick out of the edges I will trim later I don't know I'm trying not to overthink it but <laughs> as usual it doesn't always work let's see I don't know Okay, this one here, I'm just trimming this piece that was supposed to be for the tag. I found like treasures, things from like three or four years ago that I forgot about them. Stashes upon stashes. And I really want to use the things and not just laying around. Okay. I'm not used to this uh, paper trimmer. I just got it and it has two magnets here and here and it it makes it difficult to raise this and I'm not used to it. The other one I had and broke just was very simple to operate. Let's go like this. Towards the edges, it would be more difficult. I will need to uh, make the pieces fit. But I don't care. Okay. From time to time, I just need to put some pressure so it will stick. Again, that's because it's very thick. So I'm going to continue uh, cutting and gluing pieces like I've done uh, until now and I'll be back. I'm back. All the pieces are in place and now I want to decorate each one of them. And as I said, I wasn't sure what I was going to use on top, but decided at last on stenciling on each tile and I've picked some stencils with a small a <laughs> small uh, things on them so uh, they can fit on the tiles and I've ha I have here some black acrylic paint and makeup sponge and we'll see where it's going so I've got this feather that I'm thinking yeah, let's put it here. So I'm taking uh, the makeup sponge, taking uh, some paint, dabbing it, and starting to stencil. I hope it will turn out <laughs> to be interesting. Now I'm not sure about uh, the tiles that are darker. We'll see as as I go. I will see what is uh, going on. And here, these pieces have like a so, some sort of paper napkin, so I have texture, and the stencil is not really um, fine. But maybe I, later on, I will go with some marker and make it more uh, pronounced, more <laughs> definite. We'll see. 
So let's see, moving on to the next piece. What do I want to place here? Maybe this flower. I'm also planning on making a, some kind of border ben between the tiles and we'll see how it goes. Putting more flowers on this tile. Basically it's playing and a lot of the time the covers for my journal are that way I just play and uh, no overthinking it just doing something and having a lot of fun doing it and if I get to use all those stashes that I almost forgot about then that's even better not good never mind I will go over I'll do some bordering maybe with white or gold we'll see so moving on <laughs> let's put something else on another tile let's do this one here again I've got some texture and it's a little bit difficult and something stuck to my stencil okay now it's in place again dabbing I like it it's starting to take shape only two pieces and it's already starting to take shape Let's do this uh, feather in another place so I will have some pattern that uh, repeats itself. Okay, hardly seen on this. We shall overcome. <laughs> What else? Let's see. I've got this. I don't know if it will fit. Uh, not so much. So let's pick something else from here. Okay. I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. Just adding where I feel it, it's needed. Yeah. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back when this is finished. Okay, so I've got some uh, stenciling on each tile and I'm now trying to make a, each more defined so I've taken a some well a gel ink pen this is a gold I've got some a white and I've got a black permanent pen and what I'm doing first is if I think that a, one of my shapes needs something a more or more definition or just correcting whatever I've done with the stencil then I'm just going in and fixing or adding whatever I want. If I want the stem here to be longer than what the stencil gave me, then I will just add something more like this. If I want some dot in the middle, I will add it like so. And here, like also here and here. If I wanted another, I don't know, if I wanted another uh, 
leaf or more uh, details then I can just add them it's not uh, it doesn't have to stay this way like if I want to make my feather more defined what I didn't get with the stencil because it has a lot of texture here then I will just go in and add it if the leaf here is not nice enough going in fixing it all is good and now I'm just going to alternate between the white and the gold some I'm here I've used white here I've used the gold I'm just going to alternate between and see what uh, feels right uh, to me just so uh, everything will be a little bit more detailed and noticeable and I'm not trying to be precise just adding something to the hole like so I'm going very loosely around the shapes I'll bring it uh, closer to the camera in a minute just so you will see I know it's little details but the little details are the ones that make the whole okay so here are the white and here is the gold and I'm just going to continue doing this all over the tiles and then I'll come back I'm back so I finished uh, going over all the details I really like how it's going I want to do some uh, borders to each tile and I've picked this uh, 3d paint or tulip or puff paint or, uh, a lot of name for this uh, thing and it doesn't have to be this you if you have a um, glitter glue also is nice uh, but I, I'm using this because I want it to be a little bit raised now and it's not going to be even and it's going to, <laughs> to take a lot of time to dry and sometimes it gets stuck but it would be worth it at least I think so <laughs> I keep shaking it here we go so going over the edges okay now it's flowing a little bit better Just when you're doing something like that, make sure where you're putting your hand. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to go from left to right, so I won't put my hand on top of it. It's going to take a time to dry, so I need to be careful. another idea if you don't want if you don't have it or and you don't want to mess with something like that you can take a glue gun and make some borders or you can take jute like I've used here and just glue it as bordered for each tile or if you uh, rather before gluing all these scraps and making tiles then you can uh, ink uh, around them and make some border 
So I'm going to continue uh, doing this. It's going to take some time and it's going to take some time to uh, dry. I'll be back. Okay, so finished going over uh, all the tiles and just added a little bit of dots with another uh, 3D paint, this one gold. And I hope you can see all the <laughs> details. And now it just needs to dry, but this is it. That's my cover. I'm really liking uh, what's going on here, all this color and fun. I hope you will use your scraps and have fun also. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments uh, down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.